Hi friends, Cole here. Thank you so much for joining me. Currently sitting in the middle of a lake in Thailand and I'm at the New Life Foundation. It is a holistic mindfulness community and there's definitely some magic going on here. It's a little hard to put into a few words. There's a lot of people here on different journeys and they all kind of converge um, here in presence, in mindfulness. So many people are working on different parts of their journeys. And it's just beautiful to watch everyone come together. I'm currently here with a friend of mine, Echo, and we're teaching a Wounds to Wisdom workshop. And we just finished up and wanted to share a couple yoga videos on this beautiful property. So I'll add a link to the foundation in the descriptions if you want to check it out. So go and close your eyes. Hmm. Just dropping into your body. Anchoring in to the breath. And I'm going to just speak for a moment about a few of the things that we talked about in the workshop. And samskaras being one of them. Samskaras being these habituations, these grooves, these impulses that we play out over and over. So if you've ever had that sensation of, how did I get here again? Why is this happening again? It's often a groove that we've created and we've done so many times unconsciously that it creates this pathway that often we, we do it and we don't even realize that we're doing it until we end up in the same place again. So the work is to begin to become aware. And it doesn't really stop there. A lot of times we're aware. We might be aware and continue to do it for a long time, but that is the beginning. Just being mindful, becoming aware. Maybe eventually begin to shift. Maybe we come back to the place where we were before. And we shift again, and then maybe it goes back to where we were before. That's where we can learn to invite in compassion, invite in patience as we slowly shift into new habits, new patterns. It's a process, it's a journey. So some scaras can be negative, they can be positive. An example being when I sneeze, you probably say bless you or something of the sort. When you walk across the street, you probably look both ways. There's other samskaras when somebody does something, you automatically do something else. You react. Often we react by lashing out, by shutting down, by running away. And we just begin to notice So there's a wide spectrum. Begin to notice asking why, asking if it's serving us, those around us. It's just gentle self-inquiry met with compassion, met with patience. few more rounds of breath. As we move through the postures, see if you can move with a different level of awareness. We'll move through probably poses that you've been through many times. Maybe you can find something new. Maybe you move a little bit different, find a little bit different of a motion of a movement. Maybe just a new perspective.
Take the hands together. Full exhale. Inhale, open the arms, bring the heart center forward as you gaze up. And exhale, round the back, bring the fingertips forward. Inhale, cactus the arms, gaze up, arch the back. And exhale, bring the hands to heart center, tuck the chin down. Again, inhale, open up, heart center forward, gaze up. And exhale, round the back, fingertips touch. Inhale, cactus the arms, gaze up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Take the right hand down by the side, left arm reaches up and over, rainbowing towards the right. You can walk the right hand out as well, keeping the left hip down on the ground, reaching, reaching, reaching. Spiral the heart up and take the hand behind the head, press the head back into the hand and we'll begin to curl down. So round the back, bring the belly towards the spine and the elbow towards the knee. Inhale, open up, gaze up and exhale, round down. Inhale, gently open, gaze up. And exhale, round down once more. And inhale, come all the way up and we'll switch sides to so the left hand, walks out, right arm reaches up and over. Inhale, open the heart, lean slightly back into the shoulders, actively reaching through the fingers. Take the hand behind the head, reach through the elbow, inhale, open and exhale, round down. Inhale, open. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come all the way up. Beautiful. Take the right leg out to the side and we'll shift the hips so we're facing the right toes. Bend the toes back, maybe a slight bend in the knee. Inhale the arms up and exhale, begin to fold forward. So if you have a block or a bolster, you can also place underneath here. You can also take a hand under the knee. I have a slight hamstring pull right now, so this is really helping me out. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, pull towards the toes, lengthening the heart. About three slow, steady breaths. Once more, inhale. And sigh out. And slowly roll up. Let's switch sides and so take the right foot in. Turn to face the left toes. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, pull the heart forward, and exhale, fold. Once more, inhale, and release. Slowly roll up, and it's coming to cat and cow. And begin to move, not how you normally would. Maybe find some sway, bend one elbow and then the others. Maybe you take some head rolls or some hip rolls. And see if you can move in a new way. Whenever you find yourself moving in a pattern as we normally do, it's just the way we work. We like to find patterns, the body and the mind. See if you can switch it up, break the cycle. 
maybe you can move in a new way. So explore, maybe you come into child's pose, maybe you move into down dog. Take about five more rounds of breath. Exploring in your body. And come into downward facing dog just for a moment. Push back, full body stretch. Knees bent, tips up and back and gaze forward. Begin to walk the feet towards the hands. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale fold down step back with the right foot take the right knee down inhale lift the torso up and exhale sink the hips take the left hand to the hip or to the floor to a block reach over with the right hand and take the hand behind the head so just like we did when we were seated we'll inhale here and exhale, curl the elbow towards the knee. Inhale, open up, let the hips sink down, maybe a slight back bend, and exhale, curl. Once more, inhale, open, and exhale, release the hand, let the right hand come down, straighten the left leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. Bring the hands back underneath the shoulders. We can keep the torso up. So instead of folding forward, roll the shoulders back, bring the heart forward. Maybe you have a slight bend in the front knee. Send the hip bones, sit bones up and back so it feels like you're sticking your booty out. Heart moves forward. So we're trying to fold forward with a more of a natural curve in the low back. So we don't want to round. So maybe you, it looks more like this. The hands can be on blocks as well. Full exhale. Inhale, move forward. Plant the hands. Take a big step up. The right foot meets the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands. Step back with the left foot. Plant the knee. Inhale, lift the arms up. The right hand comes to the hip or to the ground, rainbow over towards the right. Big side body stretch. Take the hand behind the head. Exhale, round down. Inhale, open. And exhale, round. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round down once more. Inhale, open, and exhale, plant the left hand, straighten the front leg, Ardha Hanumanasana, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, inhale, halfway lift, pull the heart forward, find length, and exhale, maybe you don't really come down, but extend the heart forward, send the sit bones up and back. I can feel quite a bit of activation right here, thinking about keeping that curve in the lumbar spine. Slow, steady breath. Inhale, bend the front leg, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog for one round of breath. Come down to the knees, send the hips back to the heels, reach the hands around. Child's Pose Balasana. Notice if you have any restriction in the breath cycle at the top, at the bottom, anywhere in between, and see if you can smooth it out. So this is just beginning to notice this nuances, any nuances in the breath. We start with noticing the big things, the body movements aches and pains during moving, and then we begin to get smaller, more subtle. And what can you find here? Can you explore more? Slowly begin to roll the torso up. Let's come back into a seat. 
Legs are crossed. Take the hands to the knees. I'm just gonna take some big body rolls. So kind of like what we did in Cat-Cow. Don't move in a certain way. Just move and see the different ways that you can maneuver the body. A couple more rounds of breath. Trying to break any patterns. Noticing the challenge of that. Maybe quickly you start to move again in the same pattern. And just come back to exploring. And slowly moving softer and softer into stillness. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. And sometimes it just takes a little bit of movement, a little bit of awareness to change, to shift a feeling, to shift a situation. So I was coming back to yourself, coming back to checking in with the heart, with the mind, with the body. Bring the hands together, thumbs at the third eye, and we bow forward to seal our practice. Namaste. Mm. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you would like to practice live, please head over to my website, coldchanceyoga.com. I have different things coming up all over. I'm always traveling. I love to mix yoga, connection, people, ice cream, puppies, all of those things together. So let's, let's connect. I'm going to show you where we are just for a moment. Because it's quite something. This beautiful bridge coming down. And we're just chilling in the middle of a lake. There's Echo. Yeah, quite something super glassy, beautiful. Anyway, see y'all next time. Much love.